Hello there, and welcome to this mixed maths arithmetic test for key stage three. So there's 36 questions here, a mixture of all different types of questions that you could either do uh, mentally or you could do some working out. It's entirely up to you. But please do not use a calculator to do these questions. Let's just look at question number 11 as an example. So work out 25 as a percentage of 500. So what I do here is 25 over 500. So we're working out what the percentage of 25 is out of 500. Let's just simplify these questions first of all, okay? So how many times uh, can five go into 25? So five times, so we're just simplifying. How many times can five go into 500? And that will be 100 times. So five over 100. Let's simplify this further. So we know that five can also divide by the top number and the bottom number. So five goes into five once and five goes into 100. 20 times so 1 over 20 is our fraction but we still need to convert this into a percentage so how are we going to do this let's just do a little bit of division here let's put down the bottom number on the left 20 and let's turn one into a decimal with two zeros at the end so can 20 divide into a into one no it can't so let's put a zero there the bottom decimal place goes to the top and now we just join one and zero to make 10. How many times can 20 go into 10? We know that 20 cannot divide into 10. So we'll stick another zero there at the top. Now we're going to join the last zero together to make 100. So how many times can 20 divide into 100? And that is five times. So our answer is 0 0.05, but this is in decimals. We need to work out percentage. So remember, what is a percentage always out of? Percentage is always out of 100. So let's multiply this number by 100. Multiplying a number by 100 means that we move the decimal point to the right twice. Why? Because we have two zeros. So the decimal point will go to the right twice, once, and twice. And that will give us an answer of 5. So 25 as a percentage of 500 is going to be above and beyond 5%. So 5% will be our answer in this particular question, okay? So try your best with the other questions, and like usual, we'll follow them up in our next class. Thank you.